If anybody should come to me and tell me, um, I don't like your hair, it's too ugly, I'll be like, okay, okay. What do you want me to do about that? Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. What's up, what's up, how you all doing? Hope you're fine. Okay, if you haven't subscribed yet, I don't know what you're doing, like, I don't know what you're doing. Okay, and if you haven't watched my previous videos, please go and check them and come back here because they're kind of related, you know, in a way. But you know, let's get started. This video is going to be, I mean, I'm, I'm sure you've seen the title already. It's about growing and maintaining healthy, natural hair. You heard me. I didn't say growing long hair. Growing healthy, natural hair. Okay? Now, I just want you to understand that it's better for you to focus on growing healthy hair than growing long hair. Because at the end of the day, if you're trying to grow healthy hair, your hair will get longer. Period. 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 My first point in order to ensure that you're growing healthy, natural hair is one, to love your hair. Yes, you have to love your hair. Okay, you have to love your hair. And you guys will be wondering, like, how do you expect me to love my hair? By not comparing your hair with other people's hair? Don't compare your hair. Do not compare your hair. Okay, love your hair. Whatever is growing out of your scalp, love it. Even if it's dry, even if it's hard to detangle, there's always a way to work it out, guys. If you hear any background noise, I don't know what's going on on this roof, but people are just, you know, constructing something. But yeah, whatever you saw in your hair, just love it. Take care of it. Like, be ready to take care of it. If you don't, if you don't love something, you're not gonna think of how to take care of it. You're not gonna give it attention at all. So you just have to love your hair. Okay. Never allow negative comments to affect you. I, if anyone should come to me and tell me um, I don't like your hair, it's too ugly, I'll be like, okay, okay, what do you want me to do about that? Hate myself because I have natural hair, you are on your own. So when these haters tell you they don't like your hair, you tell them, get behind me. Yeah, I said it. Tell them, get behind me. Okay, a second point here. You guys are going to come for me because you guys will be like, oh yeah, that's what they all say, blah blah blah. But you need to eat right, you need to drink water properly, you need to at least consume at least four liters of water a day for you to know that you're drinking water properly. I know it's hard to drink water and all that, but you need to try. You need to try. Now I want you guys to think about this. Imagine you're trying to plant a bean seed, you know, you put it in the soil. You just leave it in the dark, no sunlight, no water. You really think that that plant is gonna grow? You think it's, the seed is gonna turn into a green plant overnight, just like that? No. So that's exactly how you should see your hair. Okay. Imagine your scalp is the soil. Imagine your hair is the green plant growing out. Okay. In order for you to grow it and maintain it, you have to keep consuming the right things. Okay. Eat vegetables. Eat your food, the nutrients in your food are good enough to provide the right vitamins for your hair. Vitamin A, D, and C, all those things, you know, they are what I mean. You understand me, right? Yeah. Yeah. You're following. So, eat right, your diet is very important. Don't want to be eating burger every day, no water, nothing. And you really expect your hair to grow. No. It's not going to grow. Number three. <laughs> You know how I just finished talking about how you should eat the right things and drink water? Also, what you're putting on your hair is very important. You have to know what you're putting on your hair. You have to know if what you're using on your hair is good for your hair. And you, you need to be consistent with what you're using that is good for your hair in order to help your hair grow and maintain its healthy texture and everything. You feel me, yeah? You feel me? Always put water in your hair. I don't mean go and take a whole drop of water and go and put it in your hair every day. No. I mean like every two to three days or something, you can take your spray bottle or whatever it's called. You spray water on your hair and you just keep it moisturized. Depending on your kind of hair, your hair may like warm to hot water. Your hair can like cold water. My hair loves warm water because I don't know, it just loves it. 
my hair gets really hard when I put cold water on it, okay? Now, depending on your kind of hair porosity as well, it could also affect the kind of water you use on your hair. I'll be doing a whole different video about hair porosity, so please put on your post notifications, subscribe, like, and just keep watching. You know, my upcoming videos will be more detailed than this video, you know, you get what I'm saying? Guys, I don't know why I keep using my hand to talk, but you know, it's just something that happens when I'm talking and when I'm really saying something that I'm really passionate about, like natural hair. Yeah. Natural. Guys, guys, I want to show you my shirt. I like you guys to see this before. It has like this whole Afro thing. You know, let's enjoy the natural hair vibe over here. Yes. <laughs> okay, so yeah. I'm going to talk about porosity in my other videos. Water, you need to know the kind of conditioner your hair loves, your leave-in conditioner, the kind of creams your hair loves, your, the kind of oils your hair loves. For example, my hair does not like coconut oil at all. Like, I remember when coconut oil was all over the internet, you know, you use it to pre-pull, to detangle your hair before washing your guys. I tried it for my hair. And the kind of Ella, <laughs> oh lord, it made my hair so strong so hard and brittle like i was just like you know i'm probably not one of those people that should be using coconut oil so ever since then i never used it on my hair so you have to find a kind of oil that your hair loves i use tea tree oil for my scalp my hair is flourishing guys check out my hair in my last video there i did this twist after trimming my hair i just twisted, twisted my hair up and i think it came out well it came out fine you know like it's not to be defined but at the same time, it's 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 okay. It's okay, you know. It's I don't know. I'm, I'm really feeling myself today. I know I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm always so excited to talk about natural hair, guys. I don't know why, but it's my thing. Okay, so I just finished talking about what you put in your hair, how you moisturize your hair. Just water is the most important ingredient. Don't ever leave water behind. What else? So imagine us watching a plant and really think it's gonna grow. Exactly. Now do the same to your hair. You have to water your hair. It's a plant. Take it like that. Now your hair accessories. <sighs> when it comes to detangling your hair, okay? You finger the tangle with whatever thing you want to use to detangle, whatever oil or whatever leave-in conditioner you want to use or I don't know, I mostly detangle my hair with water and it's just fine. If you want me to do a video on not just using water but like using some other kind of moisturizer to detangle my hair, please let me know in the comment section because I've never really tried it but I'll do it for you guys just to see the difference between people and just normal water, okay? But yeah, detangling your hair with fingers, just detangle. If you haven't seen my video on how I detangled my hair with Brush, go check it out. In the video, I tangled my hair with my hands too, so you're gonna see how to do that in case you don't know. You could also use a detangling brush. Not everybody uses a detangling brush, but if you really want your hair to really be smooth and everything, you could go ahead and use a detangling brush. Whatever method that works for you, use it, okay? Don't go and follow everybody just because I'm doing one thing, okay? So, other hair accessories like your sleeping bonnet, your do rag, silk pillowcase. If you don't have a silk pillowcase, that's fine. You can get yourself a bonnet if you're a girl. You can get yourself a do rag if you're a guy. Okay? Like, just to protect your hair when you're sleeping. Not just when you're sleeping. You can be on the couch and your hair is like rubbing up. You know, the oils are coming up your hair to the couch. You know, because, you know, the material of the couch. You feel me? So, what you should do is let's say you're sitting on the couch, you're just laying on it, watching a movie or something. You wear your do rag, you wear your bonnet. That way, you're protecting your hair from the you know, material of the couch that may be affecting your hair and removing the oils or moisture from it. Okay? That's just, it's very easy. And when you're going to sleep, like, you don't need to, if you usually forget to put in your do rag or bonnet before sleeping, what I usually do is when I wake up in the morning, I remove my bonnet and I just put it under my pillow. Okay? So when you go to bed, once you just get so comfortable and you're like, oops. I forgot to put on my bonnet or my do rag. You just put your hand under your pillow and boom, you got it. You're protecting your hair for the night. Know when to trim your hair. You don't have to trim your hair every day of your life, or every week of your life, or every year of your life. But you just need to know when your hair needs a trim. Now, why do you have to trim your hair? Now, the ends of your hair are the oldest part of your hair. 
just think about it. Your hair is going out of your scalp. So this is like the first part that basically came out of my scalp, okay? And it's become big, it's become hard, it's not really easy to detangle, it's not really easy to moisturize and do all these things. And most of the time, they usually have split ends. So what you should do is do a trim. Just trim your hair. Check out my previous video. I showed you guys how to trim your hair properly. If you like the video, don't forget to like it, please. Okay, just go for it, okay? Yeah, so you do a trim and you don't need to cut off that much of your hair. Just the part that is damaged a bit, cut it off. It's better to cut off your split ends and to allow your split ends to keep splitting and splitting and splitting until your whole hair is damaged. You really don't want your hair to get damaged off because it's split ends, right? So do a trim. Um, I do my trim like once a year or twice a year, depending on how much I need. My ends don't really get that bad, but, but you don't have to do every year. Like, trimming your hair is not something you do every day. It's something you do when you need it, okay? Protective styles. Protective styles. Now, people think that when they twist up their hair and they braid their hair, they're already protecting their hair. No. No. Before you even twist your hair, you have to moisturize it properly. Put it with oil to seal the moisture and then you twist it up and when you twist up your hair or you braid it don't want to leave it like that for like hundreds of weeks and you really think you're protecting your hair no you are damaging your hair because you're not even giving it attention you're not moisturizing it when you twist your hair maybe like once a week or something spray your hair with water you know spray some water in it put some leave-in conditioner in it put some oil in it like Give it that life it needs. It needs, it needs life. Okay, don't just leave it hanging like that. Because I'm twisting my hair, my hair is fine. Your hair is gonna break. It's gonna break. It's gonna tangle up. It's gonna take you two hours to do it. Twisted. <laughs> okay. I have friends that complain about itchy scalp or like dandruff or like scaly scalp in general. And they're, they're like, okay, like, what's causing it? Most of the time, it's because you're having product in your So putting too much products in your hair and thinking that you're doing yourself a favor, it's, it's not. It's not gonna work. Like you're just there. I don't know what's happening to my image, but you are just layering products on your scalp and your hair, and it's just building up, and it's not really doing anything but clogging your your um your scalp. <laughs> clogging your scalp. Yeah. So. Whenever you moisturize, don't just be packing products and don't just use any product that you see around. Try the ones that your hair knows and just be using it. Use in small amounts, like use in the right amount, okay? Don't want to pack on your hair. And yeah, so don't put too much products in your hair that could cause product buildup. But if you want to get rid of your dandruff, please, I've had dandruff in the past, especially when I use like all these hair extensions to do long braids, you know. I barely do them. I do them once in a while when I just want to slay a bit. But um, it's not something I like because it makes my hair, my scalp itchy and I kind of get dandruff from that. So anti-dandruff shampoos that I have for you guys, Head and Shoulder 2 in one Shampoo and Conditioner. I've used it on my hair. I still use it up to now just in case something just tries to come to my scalp. I will kill it. <laughs> yeah, so, um, yeah, so I've used the Head and Shoulders and it's really good. Just make sure you don't use a lot at once because it's easy when you like that. Use it. When you use it, you can also go ahead with your own personal conditioner and do condition to give it more, you know, to make it softer and hydrated properly. You can also use like hot oil treatments and this um Mizura anti dandruff shampoo. I'll put the links below just so you guys can check it out in case you want to get it, okay? So now my last tip is to be patient. Brothers and sisters. If you're not patient with your hair, I don't know how you expect to have healthy hair because one, when it's wash day and you have to determine your hair, you have, you have to take your time. Don't come and be yanking your hair, doing this, doing fast fast, and then you want to wash your hair, your hair will turn blue and then you have to cut it off. Okay? Take your time. Then be patient. You don't expect to put one product on your hair, you expect your hair to be long the next day. Be patient. You see how long it takes a plant to grow? Yeah. That's probably how you should look at it in terms of hair. Like, you don't just put products in your hair and expect it to just blossom like that. It's not gonna work. 
patient, okay? If you love my hair, come and give me a I'm feeling my hair. Can't wait to do more videos for you guys. Like, you guys, all the points I just gave you, I know they're summarized, but I'm going to do like more detailed videos on each point I gave, especially the moisturizing and the vitamins and hair accessories and everything. I'll do a separate video on them, okay? I got you. Um, whatever thing you want me to do about hair, please just comment below. I'll be very, very excited to do such videos for you all, okay? I'm so happy I told you guys all these points. Like, I've been wanting to share them. It's something I do to my hair. Like, you know, when I first went natural, God knows I was so confused and I was just trying different things. But now I know my hair and it's really easy to take care of my hair. So if you can just follow these steps I give you or these points I give you, I promise you your natural hair journey will get better. And the more you know you learn more about your hair, the more you use the right things for your hair, trust me, your hair will flourish, okay? Your hair will flourish. No, I, I didn't just try to do that. No. That's all I have to say. If you love this video, please like. Don't forget to subscribe. Like now, after subscribing, liking and commenting, okay? And go ahead and share with your family and friends. Thank you very much. I love this support, okay? Keep supporting me. I appreciate it. Okay, guys. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.